So today I'm really excited to open up this great product, which is a WUK smart doorbell. Now this is something which I ordered over six months ago from Indiegogo. This is a uh, a new product which from a new company WUK, which was um, seeking funding on Indiegogo and. Um, as a gadget lover, I took the risk to try to back them up to see what this was like. This is a comparison maybe to your Ring doorbell or your um, Nest doorbell, uh, video doorbell that you get these days on the, on the high street. And this product seems to be something which is looking to compete with them at, a, at an interesting uh, sort of price point. This was on a special price for early backers of 89 US dollars only. That is why 89 US dollars plus about $10 of shipping to the UK. Uh, so I paid closely to about £76 uh, for this item. Now, now, when you compare this to, for example, the, the Nest doorbell, which is currently retailing at about £229 and requires professional installation and requires you to pay monthly fees on top, um, plus various other features which it doesn't have compared to the Wook or the Ring doorbell from Amazon, now, if you look at the Ring Doorbell 2, uh, yes, it has gone down to about £89.99 currently, but that does not include neither the Chime, which this does include, it does not include the Wi-Fi range extender, which this does include, and it, again, it requires monthly fees for the installation, um, the saving of data that this, this doesn't require, right? Because this can be saved either in the SD card or on the cloud for free as well. So if you added up all that, together with uh, the Ring 2 doorbell will require, you're easily looking at somewhere about 200 pounds. And if, the, if you look at Ring Doorbell 3, again, you're looking at something north of between 200 and 300 pounds. So this for 76 pounds is, feels like it's an absolute steal, but let's open it up and see what it's got. Before I open this up, you can see that the, the high level feature that it says here on the box, it says, as I said before, no monthly fee. It has HD video, which is great, for HD video recording, which I think some of the doorbell I mentioned doesn't have. It's an instant install, doesn't require any professional installation. We'll come to that later on as well. It has a really long distance Wi-Fi range of 980 feet. It includes AI facial recognition. Again, this is a, a very innovative feature which the other doorbells don't have, which allows you to sort of store familiar faces from your family so they don't get detected as a thief or something it has six months of battery life which again is, is amazing uh, cool. it has ir night vision and uh, anti-theft alarm right so that is a lot of features that supports both ios or android phones the box which is quite simplistic here just as the details of the wook uh, as you can see the logo and let's open this baby up see what's inside got a couple of stickers here I guess that you can stick on your windows or somewhere which shows that this is protected by Wook smart home system 24 by 7 video and audio surveillance which is great to deter your thieves and you have here the uh, sim ejector I guess in case you want to put a sim card in here I think you have the Wook smart doorbell user manual which I think would be your typical user manual that shows you how to install it and then I guess both uh, in terms of the software but also in terms of the wiring and how to connect it to your door. You have, I believe here, is a two-in-one Wi-Fi extender but also the Chime. And like I said here, this is great because you're getting the Chime and the Wi-Fi extender for free out of the box rather than where you have to pay for those two things as extras, which are about 50 quid in total uh, for that if you buy a, a Ring doorbell. 
as extras. This comes out for, with, for free. You have the UK charger here. So you basically can only paste here. I requested a UK charger. That's that. And voila, the main is well, the doorbell itself. It looks really nice and sleek. As you can see here, Whoop Video Doorbell, model W0001. And quite sturdy as well as it feels. So, okay. Take all that protective plastic. And you can see here it has a the camera lens itself. Probably is the IR and I vision and flash. The doorbell button feels quite nice to press. And uh, immediately feels quite like a nice premium product. Look, it's quite glossy on the black finish. There's a metallic matte area around here, around the lenses. Uh, it's uh, laser engraved with a WUUK logo. And there's probably the speaker there. And further inside the box, you have, I guess, this little template piece, which will allow you to allow you to know how to screw the this onto the wall if you'd like to, or your actual door if you're going to do it in a screw-mounted manner. And you have the actual mount here itself. So the mount here, as you can see, has two options to uh, hang this. One is via this. 3M Super VHB sticker, which supposedly is very durable and would mean, mean you don't have to screw it into your your door or your wall. Or obviously you have the option here to put one, two, three, four screws and then hang the, the doorbell into that. And further inside you have some of these screws to help you, I guess, uh, screw this into your door or your wall which is nice for them to give you that. And these are the wires, again, if you wanted to use it for, install it against your, instead of your wired uh, doorbell, you can use this as well. Instead of the, uh, the battery powered version, you can actually install it against, in lieu of your electric, electric powered doorbell. And this is the, um, the USB charger, right? Perhaps USB-C or USB port for you to charge the um, the bell. As you can see, there is a way of that. In terms of other features the Wook Smart Doorbell comes with, they are two-way video call. You can set up pre-configured replies when someone presses your bell. For example, leave the parcel there. Thank you. You can customize the doorbell ringtone to various different ringtones that are available. It is IP65 waterproof, which is handy, especially countries like the UK, where it rains a lot. It includes SD card storage, so you don't have to pay expensive amounts of monthly fees to store your video recordings. Or you can send it to the cloud for free, provided by Wook. Uh, it can resist temperatures as high as 50 degrees to as low as minus 20 degrees centigrade. So, again, it's handy whether you live in Dubai or, say, even Canada. Uh, other, other things it has is motion detection uh, and instant alert on your mobile phone when uh, it detects any motion outside your, in front of your door. And it also has an interesting feature called a, a voice changer to anonymize your voice. So if you are trying to speak to somebody uh, on the other side of the doorbell outside and don't want to sh uh, share your particular voice, you can change it to a, a different voice, which is also very interesting. Right, so let's try and get this all set up and see what it's all about. So the first thing is first, you need to fully charge the Wook doorbell um, with a built-in battery uh, before you get it started. So apparently when it's blue light that means it's charging as you can see 
and it only becomes fully charged when it's the light goes green right um, but as you can see I've plugged it in here and then it's also on there the socket thing being charged but this cable came in the box right so let's get this set up and uh, get it all connected up so first here we have the, the chime and the extender let's plug that in to the power now we need to get the Wook app mobile app on our phone so let's go on to here Wook on either in the play store or if you have an apple iphone you have to go on the apple store but here you go that's the Wook labs app get it installed now that i've got it set up the app we're going to start to add the device so click add device as you can see it's the Wook smart doorbell we're going to add what does it say? Allow Wook to access device location. Yes, allow only while using the app is what I'm going to choose. Now let's set up the chime. As it says, plug in the chime in the power outlet and wait for the audio signal system ready. System ready. And there you go, it says system ready. So next, let's press continue. It says let's begin to pair so long press the set button for three seconds and wait for the chime to play a sound so where is that ready to pair it says ready to pair and now it says i heard it i'm ready to scan the interesting thing is this is not being paired with your phone via bluetooth but based on sound so that's an interesting thing which is here which is why it's asking us to pair Based on, based on what you've heard. So I heard ready. It says now power up the doorbell. Push the power button on the back of the doorbell for at least three seconds until you hear the audio notification from your doorbell. Hello. There you go, it said hello book. Now let's go and continue. Waiting or doorbell connected to the chime. Wait until you hear ready to scan your QR code. And there you go, there's the feedback between now the doorbell and the chime. So the next step is to choose a Wi-Fi network for your, your walk doorbell to join. So the next step is that step five of 10 is to Press to send a sound signal from your phone and wait for the audio notification from the chime. Make sure your phone is close to the chime. We recommend a 15 centimeters range and the sound volume of your phone is turned on. Now, as I said, this is interesting because this is connected to the chime via sound and not via Bluetooth. So let's do that now. Sending the audio signal now. Connected to the internet. So we heard a notification of the chime saying connected to the internet. So we go next. Make sure you heard the chime sound. Only press the button after you hear the chime emits the sound pairing successful. Right, so the next step now it says chime is now connected. Continue to set up your doorbell. So let's do that. Name your doorbell. So let me put up a name and see what it says. Well, all right, we now have the chime as well as the Wook doorbell fully set up. So let's get it tested and see what features it has and how it works. Right, so let's test how sensitive this is and how it can detect the motion. As you can see, it's already detected some motion. There you go, the light comes up. And on my phone here, I have a notification which says someone has passed your front door. I click that. You can see myself as the one in this tract.
which is pretty good. Now let's try the actual doorbell and see what happens when I press the doorbell. All right, it's straight away there on my phone, it comes up with my walk is calling. So I answer the call, accept, there you see. There's actually very little lag and waving as you can see. Thumbs up, thumbs down. So that's pretty cool. Now let's try what else I could do. I could send a reply. Hi there. You can just leave it. Thanks. You can leave it. I can try another one. Just a second. We will be right there. We will be right there. That worked as well. There's a notification to somebody comes into your door. This area is under surveillance. Please leave. Please leave. That worked as well. All right, let me speak to the person outside the doorbell. Hello. 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 So that was well heard. I can change the tone and supposedly make it sound like a female if I do this. So let me say it again. Hello. Hello. This sounded like a female. Now let me try to do it with a Deeper male voice. Hello, mate. Sound a bit like a robot. Let's try again. Hello, mate. And then let's switch back to my original voice. Hello. Hello. That was good as well. And we'll try the female one more time. Hello? So that was me trying to mask my voice, my original one, from trying to be a, a more of a robotic male or a female in case I don't want the person outside to know my own personal voice. Now, what else do you have on the app? Here you can change the, the motion detection settings, human only, smart alert, which I guess means all activities will turn on the camera, we will record all activities but only human and the last one is we'll record every single event. Right, so that's interesting as well. I think I'll go back to human only. If you go back here, you have recording duration. Do you want to record for 20 seconds, 15 seconds or 10 seconds? What sort of notification do you want? You want ring notification or motion? Here we've got both on, motion and ring. To come up on the app, get your volume. You can change the ringtone apparently to something else. So let's try telephone, knock, clock one. You want to stick to the standard one. And obviously change the how loud you want it, or how low you want it. You can check the latest firmware version. This is the current latest version, 5.13.27 as we speak. You can look at power management. So the current battery level is 90%. You can look at the illuminated ring button. So that you want to see the built-in light to be illuminated when motion is detected. And there you can see the lights up and detects motion. So that was on. Uh, you can the dismount alert. So if anybody tries to dismount it, you can set the time zone, of course. In which case, currently we are in Europe, London. So that is okay. And you can put things like uh, add users. So you can add maybe one more person to your account or whoever else is in your family, so they can also use the WOOC on from a different phone. And finally, you can put something called facial recognition. So let's say you like the look of this person. You can name him, in which case call him 
I wear tech or something and here you could say he's a family member and therefore press save and that will make sure that going forward this person is not detected as a intruder because they know that it's a family member and that's pretty much it in terms of the key settings um, the only other thing would be good to show you is the, the live view, which is what's going on, as you can see, right outside the, your doorbell. So if I press that right now for my app, you should see instantly the live view. So there's me. Hello. Hello, book. Is it good? Yes, it is. Hey, guys. Hello. So that worked. Uh, of course, I could record. I could take a snapshot of the capture has captured this particular image that I'm seeing right now on my phone so if there was somebody outside I could take a snapshot of him and have that stored image finally you can look at the general settings here and ensure you got your push notification set up on or off whether you want two-factor authentication do you want to store it on the cloud or not or do you want to have it local storage uh, within you know the memory SD card you may have had installed uh, you can perhaps change and add a new quick reply rather than the ones that was pre-built to the into the app direct by the manufacturer uh, and you can have something called allow foreground service so this enabling this option allows Wook to respond to ring notification faster you will also see the Wook icon show up in the status bar which is exactly what we need so I left that on and that is pretty much it so so if you want to see any of the latest events that took place today you just click on it there and you will see that they recorded this is probably stored somewhere on the, on the cloud currently because i don't have an sd card and you can go back in time and see the different dates so you can go to what happened yesterday and have a few events that took place yesterday the image quality is pretty good uh, with a very little lag and you know you can see how I move from one video to the next this is all that took place today all the movements as I went close by to the doorbell now clearly it's, it's showing that someone's passed by and recorded the event in question. You can go to the different events that took place, either a call, the dismount alert, or someone passed by. So in summary, what do I think of the Wook doorbell? I think it's a thumbs up from me. The image quality is pretty good at HD. For the price that I paid was 99 US dollars with a bit of shipping on top which was less than 100 pounds all in all GBP you get a camera which looks quite pretty uh, the image quality is pretty good in the HD you don't have any storage charges for um, the video that you're recording uh, unlike some of the other doorbells like the Ring, Ring 2 or the, the Nest doorbells um, and uh, you know, apart from some niggly bits which I found that I've been using this, which I will talk about in my full review, uh, said for this price, I think it was pretty good, right? And that's pretty much it for today, guys. Again, thank you so much for dropping by. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our content. Also, follow us on Twitter on the handle at iWearTech. If you have any questions, put them down below here, and I'll try my best to get to them soon as I can. Also, if you have any comments, please add those too. Alright, see you at the next video. Peace, guys.